you are learning yeah. clear yeah so uh, as uh, pramod sir introduced himself as he has expertise even in psychology so i guess this video will talk more about the psychology and uh, how it the hackers try to impact these aspects while do performing any social engineering attack so in today's session as uh, the limitation of the time i will be going through a small presentation and i will try to give you 10 tips uh, how to prevent the most of the cyber attacks and those will be helpful for you uh, in your personal as well as professional life and then i will be talking about bdsl ccr research and the book and everything at the end of the slides so uh, i guess uh, sir has introduced me very well so i am not going through my introduction now so what is the personal cyber security so look there uh, everyone of us is right now wor- walking in the cyber uh, space because every everywhere there is electromagnetic waves and those are talking to mobile devices and the laptops as a wifi and even the required communication so we are living in the world of cyberspace you can't say till the time you are getting range for your mobile you are connected to the cyberspace right so we are having various devices gadgets like laptop computers tablets and many internet devices which are part of uh the cyber world and those should be treated uh, good in uh, in terms of security and we 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 are utilizing our emails websites social media gaming platform shopping banking transactions financial decisions everything is now connected to the internet or even intranets so whatever is part of the uh wifi bluetooth or internet can be term as cyber space or cyber uh, should be part of the cyber security consideration so uh, there are two types of cyber threats majorly we can say when uh, any person uh, undergoes the cyber attacks so first thing is malware and second one is scam so sm- malware can be viruses worms uh, then spyware trojans and ransomware you must be knowing like there are multiple softwares uh attacks happens uh, which are malicious with the which are made with the malicious intention and we call them as a virus and uh, worms are very uh, specialized soft uh, such malicious softwares which actually travels through your network from one device to another device so those are more dangerous spywares are like uh, many times you must have heard, seen like if you are watching you are talking about something on your mobile phone or you are talking about uh something on social media same time you are getting more advertise on another social media or another mobile apps so it means someone is spying you and new few apps uh, which where we give them um, higher permissions they work as a spyware also in today's world and we i will be talking on this in upcoming slides trojan horse means like few softwares like you will find advertise like you can get this antivirus free of cost and you you will just download it because you are, you don't need to pay it you just get the free license from the uh, various free software serving websites but those are actually having uh, some specialized trojans on it through which they are actually entering in your machine and they are performing malicious activities on your machine so those are known as trojans ransomware like you must have must have heard like there are cyber attacks happening nowadays on the organizations as well as personal computers where hackers actually encrypt the machines and to decrypt that machine you need to pay them certain amount on their uh, account and generally those accounts are cryptocurrency accounts so you will not come to know like which uh, which person is accessing that account as a user so these these kind of cyber attacks are always increasing and during the pandemic there are various scams happening uh, generally if you go to the facebook or other social media as there are some advertise played by hackers where they say this watch is about 40000 rupees cost but we are offering it 400 rupees today and you just go there you see the genuine kind of website you 
you pay for that watch and it never get delivered so these things are happening nowadays and such scams online shopping scams are also uh, increasing so uh, generally uh, human beings are getting various emails nowadays and those are uh, those are known as a phishing emails where there is there is always a psychological factor played where a person should click on that email should read it because it looks like it came from the genuine source but the and these emails are generally having some kind of attachment some kind of hyperlink this is a the screenshot which i am sharing with you here is actually a genuine uh, it is a real example of phishing attack uh, this email came to my inbox before a uh, few days and uh, these are this is having an attachment this is having a proper message like good morning and this is the invoice and like that and uh, this file is actually uh, looks like a word the file but it is having some macro code or some malicious code inside it which will actually uh, once i will click on it it will get installed on my machine so these things happens and you should be very much aware of such emails generally these emails are requesting immediate action they will say you need to pay it today or you need to link your aadhar card today itself otherwise your bank account will get terminated and they will ask for your sensitive information sometimes login credentials uh, to log in that uh, a particular bank's website or something like that and they will hack your uh, banking account also and then uh, uh, these emails uh, looks very uh, if you are very much careful you will see these emails seems to be very good to be true so sometimes those are very like you how you are uh, some few days ago one of my employee got email uh, saying like you are chosen as a best employee of the year and just click on this link and you will get awarded 1000 rupees voucher so such emails are coming and we, which are very appear as a very good uh, to be true and you should be always suspicious towards such email and as i told you suspicious attachments also so uh, phishing attacks should can be avoided you should be very much aware about it so always uh, always question why this attachment came to you don't respond any such emails directly you can discuss with that person suppose you know the source you can call him and check twice like if they if this email was sent by him or her then the the e emails having some kind of urls in that don't click on that i will i will be showing you how to verify the website urls and to make it make sure like those are not malicious websites and again uh, there will be sometimes what happens these hackers are actually uh, doing some spelling changes grammar changes in the mails they send because few softwares like antivirus and uh, some email uh, email server protection softwares they actually study such emails and they block periodically so to avoid that blocking they keep on changing the grammar and uh, spellings on in this such emails but the campaign is run uh, throughout the uh, means the sometimes it is like run for particular audience a particular age group or particular employees of a particular company so they these hackers actually investing in such campaigns and you should always uh, have some kind of spam filtering many of uh, in india mostly i have observed like people are not purchasing a good antivirus or such uh, even uh, many times when person buys laptop or computer for home purpose they uh, they get the uh, they will never pay for the license version of windows they will say it's okay we we will we will use the pirated version but they don't understand like these uh, softwares will cause lot of harm for their personal identity and uh, confidentiality and various malicious intentions can happen on that laptop and if you are working in your uh, company and if you are suspic suspicious about particular email you can always contact the authority or it security team over there so today what i will going to, uh, because uh, we are having a very small amount of time today i will directly jump to the tools and techniques how to be secured rather than discussing more about cyber threats because you must be aware how many cyber attacks are happening every day uh, even in times of india and various newspapers they are publishing various cyber attacks daily basis uh, so whenever you are getting any url 
via sms via whatsapp via email and generally these email e urls are nowadays are having very short kind of a tiny url kind of stuff where you need to use this website i have shown here an example where uh, i got an url of bit.ly website which is uh, which is a short url for a long url uh, and uh, you can go to this website these websites are actually a tool which is uh, which appears as a website and it is for the people security so you can go there you can put that tiny url and click on unshorten it then it will show the destination url what is the long url and then you can see like suppose i am giving presentation today you know the securecloud.com is a genuine website then you can probably click on that url so you should be always considering this kind of precaution while before clicking on any short url and i have uh, my uh, one of the article got published by ec council united states in our uh, eccouncil.org i have shared the url at the bottom i i'm going to sharing share with you many urls uh, at the end of this session so you can navigate through these tools and various uh, different techniques i am telling in this session so always check if the uh, that web suppose you you are on shopping uh, you are you got one url where suppose particular watch is being sold at uh, 10 times less price so you should always be suspicious about it because these sites are generally uh not uh, real sites they are fake sites and many people uh, just see this advertise on on the facebook or other media and they just click on it they just pay it through their care credit card and they keep uh keep eye on the couriers reaching to their home but they swatch will never reach to their door so for example we have uh, i have seen this advertise before uh, few days crocstores.in and uh, it was shown showing like the watch is being sold in 400 rupees the actual cost of the watch was 600 rupees 660000 uh, rupees and uh, I, we have developed i'm working with a uh, um, ngo which is working for the cyber security awareness among people or the uh, society and which is uh, which is which is named as a sepcom as an organization and they have scamchapindia.com as a website and i am associated with them as a advisory board and you can see uh, we as a team has developed a whatsapp bot this number displayed on the screen you should save it 9152019152 so this number you save it as a whatsapp number and name it as a sepcom whatsapp number or whatever you want to go whenever you are getting any shopping url just send that url to this number you can even try now while i'm talking and you just send that url on whatsapp to this number it will immediately within a second it will reply you back okay and it it will show you the site score rating here it is 45 the site url which you have said and it will show you the visuals like two star or three star or five star or four star suppose uh, the site is uh, genuine then generally it will go it will have score above 80% okay it should be 80 90 95 or if the site is very new then only it will have low score so then you should actually uh, check whether that site is genuine or not by other sources but this is a very good tool and we inaugurated this uh, tool uh, in before 2 years by our honorable uh, it minister that time uh, mr patil satesh patil who inaugurated this tool uh, in mumbai so this tool is available and you can easily use it and you just tell other people also to use this whatsapp number it is a free tool then if you are you find like particular site is very suspicious and you just want to inspect whether this site is going to install particular malware or blacklist uh, my uh, or it it will have some uh, back blacklist status or virus which will come to my computer just go to this uh, websites which i am giving here these are tools to scan particular website and this gives uh, you result as that site is not having any malware or site is not blacklisted generally what happens is whenever some cyber crime happens in any part of the world people report it 
and even cyber cell of the country they keep on investigating such cyber, cyber, cyber crimes and they blacklist such sites okay so you will come to know whether that site is site is uh, working or it is a uh, blacklist or it is a good site or bad site that you will come to know so this is also uh, these three urls you can just keep it with, with you as a tool these are free services after that, I would like to say, as I told you, many people are not having genuine software. You should always purchase licensed version of operating system. It, it will cost few thousand rupees or few hundred rupees, but it will give you better result. And always genuine softwares will have genuine updates. And those updates are very important. Every second Tuesday of the month, Microsoft is releasing Windows updates. And uh, I have seen sometimes they are fixing 80 bucks, sometimes they are fixing more than 100 bucks in a month and they are giving those patches every month. So as your server, your machine, uh, your laptop, whatever your devices you are using should get protected. Even it applies to the iOS. So before two days, Apple also released few security updates. You people should update your Apple device also. Then you should have multi-factor authentication. Every one of you must be knowing this multi-factor authentication. Like uh, whenever you are logging to your Gmail account, you should get SMS or some uh, YouTube uh, YouTube pop-up will come on your lap mobile and you just yes, say yes to that uh, authentication. Or you will use authentication app on your de mobile device. Whenever someone logs in, it will have some authentication mechanism where one code will come to your authentication app, you need to enter that on that website or website will show some authentication number, which you need to enter in your mobile device authentication app. So these are various mechanisms where you are actually protecting your account uh, to be hacked. Okay. So nowadays, I guess almost every website is uh, who, whoever is providing emails or uh, YouTube kind of videos or even banking transactions, they are having OTP kind of stuff. So this is also one of the multi-factor authentication mechanism. So always activate your multi-factor authentication mechanism. Always take periodic backup. So while taking backup, you should consider which backups you should take. So you should know the value of particular data, which is on your de device. Not everything you, or not every WhatsApp video, which we are forwarding each other is not important to us. Only the valuable data, you should keep one hard disk, like in my home and my office, I have two, three hard disks which are, which I'm keeping just for backup. And I'm, I am having a uh, online cloud account where I also, I'm keeping some important backups. So as in case, suppose my machine get crashed or my laptop or mobile got get crashed, I can restore my data. So always check that restoration is also happening. It is not like just taking backup, but it is also uh, your duty to check whether suppose something went wrong, then I should be able to restore that data. So it should be operational backup. Right. Then use always use complex and lengthy password. Here I'm just showing you one of the chart published in last year. And it is showing like the depending on number of characters which you are using, uh, how how much time a brute force attack means one of the cyber attack tool can take to uh, get your password. So what this uh, these tools do, suppose there is a password, four digit password. It will start from one, 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 two, like that. So it will have multiple combinations in sequential order and it will keep on trying the your password on particular website. Okay. And if suppose that website is not having good security mechanism or the frequency uh, calculator, then it will, your account will get hacked. So it is always better to keep a lengthy and complex password. For example, here I'm uh, here. If you look at the first column, the numbers only. If your password is only numbers, and if it is up to eleven, it it gets the uh, miss identified by this tool instantly. But if it is eighteen digit number number only, then it takes three weeks for that tool. And if you are having combination of numbers upper letter, lower letter and symbols as your password, then it can go very, it will go in very secured uh, pace and it will uh, defeat, it will be difficult to identify for such tools. And now in 2023, these tools are also getting more advanced with the AIML kind of logics. 
so you should always have for 12 to 14 digit kind of lengthy passwords and your password should have uppercase lowercase number and symbol as a combination always try to keep a password separate for each website generally what we are we are doing we are keeping only one password on social media and bank and everywhere suppose your social media account got hacked your bank will also get hacked okay so make remember that you should have different passwords for different uh, websites and applications okay uh, generally for just for some few websites like which are not very important for you keep one very small kind of means uh, one password for those websites because you feel like those are that that is not much important for your privacy or something like that but for rest of the social media and banking related stuff you should have very big password and you should keep on changing password periodically generally one to in one to one or two months you should always change your password for all the websites passwords are like toothbrush we say so you should have good password never share it with your kids and other teammates or any friends and change occasionally okay so that is very important so your phone uh, nowadays what what we uh, as a cyber security people we say your phone is your wallet and more than wallet i would say it is your home okay you are allowing few apps to enter in your home your mobile device you are allowing few apps to use your kitchen use your washroom right you are giving them permissions these apps are getting permissions by you so you are giving them uh, sometimes you are giving them permission of your bedroom and your uh, locker also where you are keeping jewelry okay so it is very important you should restrict the permissions to the mobile apps and don't unnecessarily install mobile apps because just you are getting free of cost few mobile apps are designed in a way they will spy your uh, information what you are talking what you are sending messages what you are typing and they will have access to many things uh, which you will never come come across even your camera can be hacked whatever you are doing they might be recording so always check the source of this mobile app developers okay if the company is genuine if it is not the kind of china company or some uh, enemy company countries of us if they are having the they are making such mobile apps make sure you not don't install it okay try to be uh, use uh, mobile apps which are genuine which are developed by some authorized or a very good company like facebook or such companies which are private limited or limited in india so check the who has developed that so as if there is any financial problem financial malicious intentions happened or something happened you can file case against those right otherwise is sometimes what happens uh, sometimes uh, these uh, these companies are located out of india and say russia or other other china kind of countries and uh, they are actually developing loan apps and all and you are you are get, go, uh, adding your information you are giving them permissions and when there is some crime happens then your money is gone to china so how uh, it is a very lengthy process to get that money back and it is it will take lot of time long process is there so you should avoid that so you should always install genuine genuine apps and again don't give more permissions to them avoid charging your mobile phone only at authorized places like at your home office or don't use public wi-fi that is one of the good thing not to use public wi-fi because people uh, some hacker might have hacked it and it will access your mobile device through the tools so these are few uh, tips i'm giving you to keep your phone safe you license version of software uh, and uh, it is not just software license is required to have trusted source uh, but it is a legal legal thing or it is you are actually giving justice to the developer you are paying them for building that software right so you should be always ethical while you are installing certain software suppose you get a software saying xyz antivirus and that was developed by some ha hacker just logo is same and you install it considering like it is an antivirus from genuine source and uh, because you you are getting it free of cost you just download it and you install but that antivirus is actually a virus 
it is not an antivirus it will behave like it is it will show the panel and everything like, like a wire antivirus but it will actually conduct malicious activities behind the screen so you should always use the trusted websites while purchasing the software uh, don't just go and download from uh, uh, various uh, other pre software download websites and always uh, check if you are facing any problem or you are having suspicious uh, observations about particular software you can always contact their help desk and discuss with them if there is any issue with the software or something like that you can check uh, if they you are finding any risk out of this software so that is very important and you should have cyber security thinking improved uh, nowadays what is happening uh, if you are going for any selling your flat or you are uh, showing your uh, particular vehicle for uh, sold by uh, agent you are giving them aadhar card and pan card like uh, we are giving prasad of the mandir right we are just giving it uh, to many people a uh, xerox copies we are just giving pan card aadhar card driving license whatever they require and we don't know what is happening to our data if i i've been in united states i've been in europe for four years and i seen like people are very uh, very uh, sensitive about the personal information even their i card they are keeping as a turn so as their photo and their name is not visible while they are walking on the street and in our case we are just giving the xerox copies of all our documents to anyone and we are not even bothered whether my aadhar card is being used for purchasing a sim which will be used by cyber criminals so always be very conscious and behave uh as you should be cyber secure your data is very important and your personal security professional security is in your hand so always uh, make sure that cyber criminals will send you messages or they will call you then you should uh, always check authenticity if they are having urgency like if today you are not giving me aadhar card copy on my email i will uh, our bank will terminate your account or there were there was msme uh, msb uh, fraud happened before few few months where people were getting sms like your light bill is pending since one month and if today you will not pay using this link we will term, we will cut the cut your meter light meter okay so and even those messages were coming on whatsapp by mobile numbers and people i knew few people who actually paid that uh, light bill with the impression like their light meter will get cut down by uh, msb board so it is very important you should not be victim of such urgent calls and you are you should not be emotional towards it you should always genuinely check that and take consultation from the service desk or other people uh, working in that department and then only go for paying such threats okay so it is very important you should be aware and we have this uh, i have given here a link of my linkedin showcase uh, it is a linkedin secure claw cyber sec cyber threat advisory web page where we are putting uh, minimum 12 to 50 cyber attacks happening every day and you can check you can follow this page on linkedin where you will uh, able to see what cyber attacks are going on and we are also sharing what are the best precautions you can take day in daily life and professional life so just follow this web uh, web page we have created on linkedin now i'm moving to the uh, my research uh, about bdslc ci i have done the doctorate with this subject so according to the latest cyber, uh, cyber uh, attack research statistics and the small and medium enterprises undergoing cyber attack in 2019 there was a published reports from various uh, countries and various organization where one out of two small and medium enterprise is undergoing cyber attack and 60% of small businesses which are undergoing cyber attack are actually shutting down their business within 6 uh, month down the time in many countries these small and medium businesses or small and medium enterprise many countries uh, treat these terms as a different terms uh, according to their definition but uh, more or less both terms are same so this 90% of the businesses worldwide are small and medium enterprises and they are responsible for 60 to 70% of employment opportunities and they contribute towards 55% of gdp in developed economy 
so that is the uh, that is the weightage of small and medium enterprise why they should be protected so if we uh, i did a research where i got participation from top management of small and medium enterprises from 19 different countries where they said we are not having enough resources to implement cyber security standards uh, in our company because all the standards available in market are asking for hundreds of controls to be implemented and then only they give certification then return on investment we can't see because all the standards available in market are asking for more controls and we can't see any relation uh, of or investment benefit why shall we invest so much amount to implement those and they are not having skilled resources they are not having funding to implement all those hundreds of controls so small and medium enterprise top management does not happy uh, while it comes to the cyber security so it is not their business goal because they can't see business benefit out of it then what i did i have created using my uh, cyber security domain knowledge i have worked with more than 100 clients internationally with including government and various countries uh, for cyber security audit and implementation and uh, with my knowledge of cyber security certifications and various areas uh, so i have created a new cyber security uh, framework which is known as business domain specific least cyber security controls implementation bds lcci which is going to give company the business domain specific cyber security means a tailored cyber security controls list suppose you are a pharma company instead of in implementing hundreds of controls which other standards are telling you will only implement 35 to 40 controls which my standard is telling and you will get cyber secured for your business and it is very easy to use and it is easy to implement because i have created an ai ml based platform altogether which is uh, which is handling most of the work for the companies and they get easy solution over there so depending on your domain if you are e commerce company you are a chemical company you are a pharma company or any other company you will get tailored controls list for your domain and depending on your domain you will only pay focus on the implementation of those controls according to ascending order there are three levels in bds lcci level 1 level 2 level 3 so level 1 uh, will have say 10 to 15 controls and level 2 will have another 10 control and then level 3 will have another 10 controls and they can go for online audit uh, where they will upload the evidences of the implementation according to our recommendation and they can uh, online auditors will review it and they will approve or reject it if auditor approves it there are two two levels in the audits level one level two auditor and lead auditor and once auditor approves it it they get analytical report which they can email to anyone it is a web-based report secondly they get certificate of bds lcci level achieved as a cyber security level and they get a transcript like the mark sheet we were getting in school so they get a mark sheet kind of pdf where they get what are, what are the implementations they have done and where they are lagging it. So this is the outcome of BDS LCC. And this research is published in a highly indexed journal, uh, JJ, uh, JJMEI International Journal of Elsewhere. And it also got published as a, you know, as a chapter in a Imral publishing book, which I guess um, Sir also introduced, uh, spoke in his introduction about me. And this, uh, BDS LCCI has been published in more than 500 newspapers, including Financial Express and many international newspapers. And this now I have converted it into book also for making awareness about this uh, BDS LCCI. So you can download this book at pre op cost. It is a very limited offer for this week where you can download the Kindle version of this book, which costs 699 rupees if you are purchasing, but now we are giving it as a free of cost, zero rupees. Uh, so you can just, I, I will be sharing the link at the end of this uh, session. So you can just download this Kindle uh, version from Amazon shopping app and just open it in Kindle, Kindle app or Kindle, physical Kindle uh, device you have. BDS LCCI is actually going to have tailored cybersecurity controls level one to level three and downloading uh, uh, ready to use policies posters is available on this website of bdslcci.com where companies can get many things free of cost. Even we have created a scanner 
say a secure clock crawler, which will actually do vulnerability assessment of the machines and it shows the report. So that is also we are giving pre op cost. Many things we are giving pre op cost only for the audit companies need to pay. So if someone from the participant want to become freelancer of BDSLC CI as an auditor who can work with us uh, as, a, as a, he can develop his business skills and audit skills working with uh, as a freelancer. So they can, they are welcome to join us. Even there is an opportunity, like suppose there is a company who is working in audit and similar areas. They want to become certifying body of BDSLC CI. They are also welcome. So you, you can check these membership forms. So that, that's it. I wanted to share today. Uh, if you have any question, I'm open for that.